What's up everybody, Pumpkin here. So the other day, uh, I think two days ago, I put up the Francesca list with Uma and Aguara in it. Uh, I posted in the comments below that uh, if you do want to make the list more competitive, you simply replace Uma and Aguara with Land of a Thousand Fables and Garrison. Um, obviously this adds consistency and it adds another Francesca target and a little bit more reach in well, any of the round really with Garrison. Um, and then the following day after I put up the video, I played a bunch of games and I, uh, I queued into Tailbot. Um, so I played this deck against Tailbot and I don't really want to spoil much because whatever. Um, yeah, this deck's pretty good. Um, there's not much more to say about that. Uh, the only card difference that I've made since I put up the list is I run Sapper. I run one Sapper right now. I dropped a Bowman for a Sapper. You don't have to. You can play two sappers if you want. It really depends on what you're seeing on ladder. Um, Summoning Circle, Frightener, these cards are seeing a lot of play right now. So if you are running into decks with artifacts, uh, throwing in that extra sapper never hurts. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this game and I'll see you guys on the next one. Oh, I know this guy. We do what must be done. Half a bottle, oh. Of whiskey? I mean, that's... It's actually not as bad as I thought. If you're an average drinker, like, that's not the end of the world. But I don't know how much you drink. Don't you fret about me. I can take care of myself. You're not an average drinker? Yeah, okay. I mean... Yeah. Half a bottle of something pure is a lot. Yeah. I'm just remembering the first time I had, had alcohol, like other than like beer or wine, like hard liquor. My friend and I split a bottle of Grey Goose while we played Hearthstone. <laughs> I'll get it done. That was fun. May your sword and arm be one. <laughs> Classy, yeah. Humans are not to be trusted. Maybe I should start running sappers in this deck, just to troll people. Leave you still stand. That's an interesting card. I never this is a very interesting Dana list. It's a poison summoning circle Dana list. I'm very intrigued. I kind of want to try it. It looks fun. Skyatel, We're up a few points. Humans to the sea. Huh. It looks like Shoop Dana. Oh yeah, maybe. All right, this entire game is just can Pumpkin draw R and R or one K Fables Pog Champ. Wait, you're playing Tailbot? Yep. Yeah. Slaughter them to a man! Can you ban Athena for an aggressive attitude? You really need me 
to ban somebody. Any other mulligan, we brick on R&R, &R, it's not worth it. Isn't this the same Athena who streams? I don't think we need to ban him. All right, all right, you're starting to feel. All right, we wouldn't want you to feel. All right, we'll, we'll stop the feels. We'll play something a little bit more hippity hoppity. Is there any squite? Is there? Okay. I, I should know the answer to this because I, you know, I play a bit of squite on myself. But uh, there's no kind of banishing effect in squite at all. So I can, I don't have to double R and R because the only banishing effects in the game are a sire and the Nilfgaard card. Xavier? Yes, okay. If my opponent plays Xavier, congrats, Tailbot. You got me. <laughs> Xavier. Yeah, okay. Xavier. Yeah, alright. Xavier Dana. So good. Wow. Is Xavier's Lemon the joke to you? Yep, just as much as Gimpy. Can you ban me for laughing at your social media? No, because I do the same thing whenever I look at it too. Not to worry, the wood will make good use of your corpse. This is fine because he doesn't get the immunity back. What is this song? It's Hotline Miami. Is it not good? Alright, whatever. This song is good too, though, so it's okay. All right, thought process time. So the reason I'm not moving the four is because it has the word dwarf on it, which means if he's playing dwarfs like volunteers, they're gonna go back row. And incentivizing my opponent to play on the back row is never a bad thing. So pulling it forward disincentivizes him, and then he will start playing on both rows, which means I lose value on last three. Right? So it's a bad idea to uh, move it. That's my logic. Follow me this way. <laughs> mm. 
John, do you want mod? Oh, it's a different trap. Plus skin pose. Thank you for the tier one sub. Appreciate it. Thank you, man. Don't mod John. Why not? Okay, he doesn't want mod. Alright, no mod. Oh, thank you. You're so kind, Tailbot. I do appreciate the creep points. Thank you very much. Yeah, I got an achievement. I don't know what the achievement was for, but we got an achievement of some sort. Yes, one. Peace with humans, abide us. <laughs> I don't want to garrison. There's like a 3% chance he plays Garrel. Probably not, but it can't hurt to play around it. What's the song? Uh, it's from Deadpool. Did you guys like Deadpool? I like Deadpool. I thought it was a good movie. I enjoyed that movie. Pumpkin, stop bullying pro player. What do you mean? Wait, if I can't bully noobs and I can't bully pro players. What's the third option? Oh, I can bully chat? Oh, so you're giving me permission to bully chat is what you're saying. They can hide, but there is no escape. Athena, thank you for the tier one sub. Appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. I don't know. I don't know why I'm saying okay. I have no idea what I'm doing here. Last rate? Yeah, but I lose, a, I lose two points on last rate if I last rate now. It's a Dana list. There's no chance he plays tall removal. Mm. Wonder if this is tree and boar, because his last card might be poison. Poison plus tree and boar. 